Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing uh, Advent 2021 A2 XT Gaiden 2. Man, this is a guitar. Legend of Xanadu, huh? Arrangement. This is really good. This is it. This is Christmas Eve, and we are going full pure Snobex for the rest of the event. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Let me get Steam open. Uh, first of all, Truhan, as you can see, I did it! I put the CD key in the thing, and yeah, I, I didn't expect to have five games. So yeah, Strong Bad has five of those, and, uh, 8-bit is enough. I don't know why these are dark. Only the first one has a banner? Wild, okay. Also, the image is super ugly. <laughs> this is a really old internet image. Oh god, 19? See, yesterday there was a lot because, uh, there was like a, an ambush train that was organized apparently and just people giving me also gifts for the occasion because, you know, on the 22nd there's like a Steam holiday sale that happened so I figured, alright, so there was gonna be like the big ol' ambush, like, bump. <laughs> 19 though. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, I don't know what order this will go into. Da 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 da. Because yeah, like I don't know if it like the order they put these uh, to. I I don't know. How oh, many of these are? Let's see. 23rd, 24th, 24th, 24th. I'm just kind of looking real. Yeah, then it goes back to 23rd. Uh, I think you want to start with a bottom for. Yeah, because, okay. The reason, because I remember this. Remember yesterday at some point in a video I commented about being an ambush? Yeah, while I was playing Fire and Ice. That, that's what popped up. So I guess we're going to start from the bottom and claw our way upward. All right. Well, hey, here we go. Starting with a start. Uh, with Zen here being all rao cow the 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 rao cow Hello, hi! I know everyone else is already ambushing you and now I'm doing it too! But hey, I just wanted to get you one more thing. For some reason I read that as of and out, but over and out. Here's the Zen. Glitter... Oh, I think I understand. Um... Is Glitter Midden Grove the game that has that other game that's hidden in it? And said other game has clear inspiration from a certain thing? I think it is. Oh, this is extremely on brand from you, Zen. Okay. I see what's going on here. I, for what it's worth... I know nothing about said other game, well, other than, you know, what it is, but I don't know anything of it. I just know the reputation. I'm being super vague and pointless. Uh, that is what we call being a very powerful communicator. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so now we're Omega. Hey there, Rao Cow. This is an ambush, and to round it out, one more. Didn't want to just give DLC, so here's a lady that's half human and half off. Ha! <laughs> I don't know, I found that so funny, but I did. Thank you, Mr. Omega, with the smiling face here. Oh yeah, Shantae. Shanta, you, I heard a lot about that series, and yet my 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 um my my contact with that series is basically nil. I heard it pretty good, but now I got the director's cut. Like, there's a bunch of those in there, and this one has brand new features. Plural. There are many features. Whom are new? Here, JR630 sells like Rao Cow. In 2013, my friend showed me this one YouTuber who had what he called an infectious as heck laugh. It's been a fun eight years. <laughs> Here's some games to celebrate. <laughs> Risk of Rain. I heard of that. Yeah, Risk is an action platform with roguelike elements. Yeah, I know. I knew that was a roguelike. It's 2D. Uh, permadeath, that's normal for a roguelike. But that's about all I really know. Ooh, it has co-op, which, which, I mean, that's not gonna affect me a whole lot. Okay. Risk of Rain. Look at that. Very, very sparse banner. I respect that. It looks really neat. 
Well, status unredeemed. We're going to change that. We're going to add it to my library. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, here's, you got some more here. Right, 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 right. Some games, plural. Opus Magnum. I saw a video of it. I don't know if it's my type of game. It's like a puzzle game? Yeah, latest open-ended puzzle game from Zach. Oh, it's from Zachtronics. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that might be a bit too puzzle for my poor little brain. That assembles potions, poisons, and more using the alchemical engineer's most advanced tool. You know, the old transmutation engine. Everyone had one of those back in the day. I'm still gonna take it. Maybe you know, should give it a try. And, you know, play before I judge. That is the correct attitude to take. Oh, there's a gift history here. I don't think I ever noticed that. You know, sometimes, like, I know I'm given a game I forgot by whom. Maybe that would tell me. Ooh! Tubular is all. Esteem Rao Cow. Been enjoying your LPs for over a decade now. So here's my favorite game. My way of saying... Thank. You might get a bit lost, but please have fun. Tubular. Tubular. Veneneth, I don't know this. Single player game focusing on unraveling the mysteries of ancient alien technology somewhere in a universe via exploration, platforming, and puzzle solving in a dangerous descent world. I mean, it sounds interesting, and I mean, that is a really nice little banner image. Veneneth, yeah, that does not ring a bell. And like, it ranks as your favorite game, too, huh? Okay, that is interesting. All right. Okay, Veneneth. It's like a, a mysterious alien world kind of name. It's not like Bop the Block. It's 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 an it's it's a made up fantasy name. I always thought I was a dangerous approach to naming like uh, a thing, but like it makes sense. Like that's that's the main draw. It's the world we're gonna explain. Oh yeah, the more I think about it, the, the more that makes sense, and the more I think I'm weird for thinking it was weird. Oh cow, it's me, I'm contributing to the ambush pile with a game I like a lot. Enjoy Plutia, Plutia. Suguri, experience a rush of battle with a fan acclaimed bullet hell shooter, Suguri. Okay, with an automatic lock on targeting system, unique arsenal of hyper weapons, not just weapons. We're gonna fix hyper to it. Okay, all right, so maybe a Toho-like? I mean, just going by the description, and you know, the fact it uses anime as a selling point here in the art. Okay, but it's a game you like a lot. You know, that means something, you know, for a game to be liked a lot, like it needs to be good on some level. Sugary, sugary. I keep wanting to Englishize it by adding an H, which is really weird and I think about. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, see, this is what I like. Like, I, you j I just get this little personal fragment of all of you guys, just like a little peek and to who you guys are. Oh no, it's a double ambush with Sora! <laughs> it's another shoot em up. Okay, okay. The sequel! Okay, so it's sequel. It's Sugary 2. Sora! Wow, improve game system. That's, that's, that's a good thing to have. Please improve your game systems when you have it. Thank you, once again. There's clearly a theme going on here. Rumia! Hey, Alec Head, uh, from Pal Rumia. No, yeah, the, I mean, you said Bach? I don't know how to pronounce that. Although, although looking at the description here, it just says lightning emoji, robot emoji, puzzle emoji. That is funny. Alec Head, yet another game that I saw one episode of an LPR. Like, well, I'm gonna be playing that, so I'm not gonna be watching that anymore. Yeah, 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 it's like it's a pl puzzle platformer type of thing. And it looks super rad. And now I own that game. It is mine. I can do what I want with it. Like making eat a tuna sandwich. Uh, that's kind of mean. Well, no, Ambush! This beautiful game absolutely broke my brain when I played it. Now it's your turn to enjoy Fractalian. Oh, that's a fun name, Fractalian. Manifold Garden. I've heard of that name before. I've heard of it. I don't know if I remember what the game is. I don't think I've seen it. Rediscover Gravity. <laughs> now, <laughs> now there's an opening statement. Rediscover Gravity <laughs> and explore an Escher-esque world of impossible architecture. Witness infinity and first person and master its rules to solve physics-defying puzzles. 
Cultivate a garden to open new paths forward where an eternal expanse... Oh, wait, well, that just sounds threatening at that point. Manifold Garden. I've heard about this game, and I heard a lot of praise, and yet I feel like I've never... Exp oh, I just understood how the image in the, in the banner works. Yeah, 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 like these are all buildings. Okay, it's just like a really forced perspective. We're like in um, like an uh, island of non-building in, in a courtyard, as it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, oh, that looks really neat. Oh, okay. Broke your brain, huh? If I were to play this for the internet, how much screaming at the screen do you think would happen? Would you advise that? <laughs> no! There's some very necessary non-doom dooms plus bonus doom value. <laughs> Let me reread that. There are some very necessary non-doom dooms. So basically, you're like saying like a non-sonnet. Non-doom doom. Yeah. Plus bonus doom value. Okay. Okay, okay, Arctangent, Enten, Arctangent, oh yeah, there's Arctangent, ah, Usatan, that's easier to say, so not, yeah, nice last online, a thousand years, I'm, in, I'm an invisible, that's just all there is to it, I guess it counts, oh geez, so, Heretic, Hexen 2, Hexen Normal, and the Hexen... Death King of the... Oh, boy. So, it's a whole, like, extended Hexen. You so, yeah. Hexen. Definitely heard of that. It's, like, Medieval Doom, I think? Never played it. I'm aware of it. Never played it. That skull doesn't look thrilled to be there. Tap this image for one black mana. All right. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to use it, but Mana Burn isn't a thing anymore. So, it's fine. I'm going to be safe. Oh, here's... Okay, so that's... An, this one I don't think I know. The original Strife. Hail as the original FPS RPG. Oh. What's an FPS RPG? I guess is that what Hexen is? Is a love letter to the classic from 1996. So it's a, it's a remake? Maybe like a modern playable on actual computers now version? Okay. See, Hexen, I knew. Strife? So you can tell that this is not a sphere of game knowledge that is uh, that close to me. Because I see a name that I bet, like, a thousand people recognize. They're, like, gasping in unison at my ignorance. But this is what's cool about this, though. We're learning. Hey! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, wait... Wait, wait, that's the new one, is it? All three premium DLC. Yeah, Into Evil, Hell Followed, Blood Fall. Oh. Oh. Photo mode, final <laughs> update 6. That's so cheesy, I love it. <laughs> Apparently, New Doom really goes all out on a cheese, and I do not merrily appreciate it. I love it. I love that. All right, well, I mean, if y'all are giving me, like, 5,000 games each, no wonder the thing is so high in amount. Jeez, I, I could play Doom and Doom Likes, I feel like, for, like, a year at this point. Straight. Here's Trine! Oh, I think I own one Trine. All right, Raokao, ambush time! Hey, Raokao, I was going to send over one of my favorite puzzle platformers, but you already own it. Yeah, I was given Trine a while ago. So have the newest one. Okay. Joy or Petronio or also Don Quixote. 39. Uh, 39 of them. Trine. Yeah, so Trine is a game where you control like three guys, like three characters with their own abilities. Never mind that I'm going to play a game with that very conceit soon when I'm done with Spyro. That's a funny thing to think about. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I've, I've seen, like, uh, Giant Bomb report on the first version, so I'm glad that they had enough of a success to, like, spawn, like, sequels and, and more. Like, that is neat. Yeah, they're up to four, the Nightmare Prince. Look at that knight. He's just so happy to be there with his giant... <laughs> I mean, it's not a giant sword, but it's a really thick one. It's more like a spatula. <laughs> I... 
All right, it turns to the magic of 2.5D. All the Ds you'll ever need. Are they really iconic? Well, they represent the icon, you know, the wizard, the archer, and the screaming guy. That's my favorite archetype, personally. Oh, thank you. Like, I just... I am just a machine of thanks. I just thank and thank, and it's like... It's the whelms, man. It is there. Oh, I heard of this. Okay, Cyril's back with the rough bark, woof bark, woof rough, and the boof woof bark. Also adding rough woof bork jar bark bork and woof. Gzo gzo gzo, indeed, Cyril. Gzo 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 to everyone. Chicory, I think it's from the person that the yeah. Oh, it says right there in the bottom from creators of Wonder Song and Celeste. Wonder Song, I knew Celeste. I forgot. <laughs> But yeah, it's a game about color, so you can tell because there's like a bunny with like a rainbow brush and then there's a significantly cartoonier dog having a bit of a scare. I mean, I get it. That's a pretty powerful looking bunny. Oh, geez. Like, the issue, I guess it's a great issue to have. But the issue is that I kind of want to play nearly every game that is being presented to me. So, <laughs> that's, it's, just, it's a lot of choice. Atto, I remember seeing the... Okay, well, you're just screaming cat planet at me here, Cyril, and I get that. It's a lot of fun to do. I remember seeing the trailer for this. I think it was linked on the Talk House recommended thread. And I was like, no, yeah, that looks pretty rad. I like, I remember it. I remember the name, the three letter wide name, Atto. So awesome, great. Now, this is a game I definitely feel like I need to play. And it's been added to my account, so that's handy. Huh. <laughs> I was just making bird sounds. <laughs> but that a kerblam. What does that mean? Are you out hunting? <laughs> Death's door. I don't think I know this one. Reaping souls of the dead and punching a clock <laughs> are related events. Might get monotonous, but it's honest work for a crow. The job gets lively when your assigned soul is stolen. You must track down a desperate thief to a realm untouched by death, where creatures grow far past their expiry. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Ooh, okay. Death's door. And the art design looks pretty fantastic. I mean, at the very least on, on, on the little trailer image. Uh, all right, well, thank you. Death's door, the door of death. Death has one door, and it's that one. Do not step in unless you're allowed. Still going! How cow! Oh, man! A bat in your mailbox at Christmas instead of Halloween? How preposterous! That's right, because Roland's the spot zone bat. Uh, he brought another bat with him and a barbarian together at last. Hard to believe. Those two are yours now. Uh, best wishes. Well, best wishes to you. Ba bat barbarian. I see. See, it's barbarian, but it replaces the R with a T. It makes a completely different word. Bat barbarian testament of the primordials. Is a snarky action adventure puzzle game with a good dose of humor. Hundreds of secret filled room. Bosses, companions, oh, the power of Pip, Bat Buddies, Solve Puzzle Escape, the Eldritch Abyss. See, once upon a time, I was a bit, I was a bit like, just kind of, what's what I'm looking for here? Um, I was a bit wary when a game uh, called itself like snarky or whatever, but the Sword of Travesty did that by putting a big emphasis on the word irreverency. In its intro. And I love that game's writing. So I'm willing to give it a chance naturally. Okay. Bad Barian Testament of the Primordials. There's a guy with bombs. Uh, accurate. <laughs> you did it. You saw an element of the drawing that was meant to be saw. Oh, and that's what we saw at the start of this now almost 20 minute ordeal. Ambush time. No word mincing. This is an angry cow game. Especially compared to other roguelikes. It brings people to great highs and then brutally murders them. Have fun, Tangy. I want to play Noida. I know about it. I've seen a little bit of footage, just enough to tickle my fancy. And I want one day to have 
you know, a, a reasonable length LP. It's just not like, 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 like a regular length of a run days game. I know it's doable. Uh, remember my LP of the original, like, 16-bit styled um, Spelunky? Like, I made that work. But that wasn't blind. But a blind run base game, I feel, would be rad. And I think Noita looks super cool. I don't know it'd be an Angry Cow game, but that never stopped me. <laughs> oh, man. We did it. We survived. Uh, we're not done yet, though. Well, first of all, Steam, thank you for being here. Hey, music to my ears. Stop. Hi, this is a talk house. Cyril wasn't busy just on Steam, but he sent me a whole bunch of these. Uh, yeah, and I saw the first one. Open my ambush PMs after the Steam. You can read it. Yes, I can actually read. So let's see what happens if I click this. <laughs> is that... Is that Atto? It's a dog with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, I see. No, I see. I'm just... I keep going to the same one. Because I go back instead of going to thing. I'm a dumb... <laughs> Cat with a knife! Oh, he looks really happy to own that eye. I just hope it doesn't cut himself. <laughs> Why is this... Ha yeah, there's Death's Door, the crow. Okay. I see, yeah, these are all the games. Oh, suddenly there's a real letter. For real though, is it so cool that so many peeps get together to regularly make entire full-fledged games just for you and then also shower you with all sorts of gifts and steam ambushes and nice words along the way. Like, so by the way, this is Cyril. You can, I'm just gonna, see? There we go, Chaos Garden. Just in case it wasn't clear. Uh, yeah, and Steam has some nice words along the way. Like, to think we went from dodging beef steaks to beefing dodge steaks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Over a decade down the line. <laughs> okay. The Raumuni and Talk House and Patapon and Schlemme Blamme Ding Donga Do Donga Kong are all just so generally awesome and being a part of this community has been one of the constant positive forces in my life over an entire decade, which is like, that's crazy, man. Crazy. I'm so glad. Probably the coolest part of these whole Steam Ambush trains is that like, even if you never play some of the games being gifted to you, very likely, I... By sheer quantity, uh, that parenthesis has some weight. It's still supporting indie game, game devs, and it's true. There's been a lot of indie games in there, and that's real sweet. Not a whole lot of AAA, and I think, you know, people get me, though. And they know I'm more interested by the work of authors. Um, da -da 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 -da. Like, that's just a great show of love all around, isn't it? I think it is. Anyway, this is pretty obvious by now, but I have more ambushes coming your way tomorrow, too. So as much as the dinky little Steam gift messages allow me to say then, but because this is all an extended Cat Planet reference, I guess I owe you one more ambush PM. So burb. Alright, this one has a different... Oh, no, I pressed the wrong thing. I, I, I... Oh, this one's private. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna read that one on my own. And then there's that one? Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. By virtue of being the one you sent last, it's the one on top of the list, so so it's the one that I I I saw first. So that was probably a good thing. Alright, so honestly, yeah. I'm gonna cut video. I'm gonna read your private message and I'm gonna read it. And then when I restart video, I can start actual guidance. Yeah, uh, this is ridiculous. This is just 25 minutes. Well, with minor editing of love. Like, <laughs> I feel like the human brain isn't equipped for this, which is a messed up thing to say, but... Oh, boy. Thank just, again, blanket thank you to everyone sent something, who thought of sending something, but couldn't for any reason, 
was considering sending something, but I guess you'll get thanked again. If you want to double down on thanking, here's your chance. <laughs>